This is part of an overall economic development strategy in trying to, number one, diversify our economy by looking for new companies that we can incubate and grow that are not necessarily automotive related. And then the other part of that is um, typically in economic development, uh, most developers look at um, job uh, new attractions and then your existing business um, to try and retain and uh, expand the existing businesses. This is a third component, which is about new job creation or new business creation, and that's where the incubator comes in. So it's a strategy that's part of a larger plan. That's our primary target audience, is looking for those um, entrepreneurs um, who you know, have a passion for you know, business creation and business development. They may not know exactly you know, what they want to put their hands around. And then our other target audience are the innovators who they do know what they want to put their hands around, but they may not necessarily have the, bu the business acumen to, you know, put that business together and make it happen. You know, that maybe they're at the point in their life that, hey, the West Coast has been really nice, but now I have kids, I'm ready to move back home, and, you know, what's out there for me? Maybe I'm at the point in my career where, you know, I've got some ideas and I could sort of, you know, start my own business. So we were looking for that audience. Given that these people are probably spread all over the place in different areas, what types of media do you use? Um, in the past, we have used um, newspaper articles, press releases. We put press releases together for the newspaper just to get the story out about who we are and why we exist and what kinds of services we have to offer people. Um, we have done billboards in the past on US 31. We did a billboard at um, the north side uh, of Kokomo, which was, a, 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 as you're traveling south, it would have been a right-hand read for southbound travelers at the north end of Kokomo. And for northbound travelers, we had a right side read for those, those folks coming in. Targeted the IU alumni publication and the Purdue. Uh, alumni publication because those are folks who have some tie to Indiana. Mm -hmm. It spreads across multiple geographical markets and we also have uh, the back cover of the SBDC business guide that they produce yearly um, that is used in all of their, the SBDC is a small business development center and um, in all of their educational seminars, they use this guide as actually a teaching tool. So we have an article in there about incubation and what it is, and then we have a, an ad on the back cover of that. All of the advertisement has been designed to try and drive people to the website. You know, go visit inventric.org, go visit inventric.org, because that's where, <coughs> that's where we want them to end up. We had, um, set up this wonderful matrix with a return on investment of, you know, how many, uh, what was the um, distribution audience for that, how many hits did we get off of the website, did we ever plug in those numbers in that beautiful matrix and figure that out? No, we did not, so. <laughs> well, another thing that we did early on, and, and I stopped doing this, was a um, e-newsletter. Uh, for anyone who would sign up on our website, um, they could opt in for some permission-based email, e-newsletters that we would put together. The problem is we just really, you know, don't have the staff or the writer on that could keep that going, write those articles and keep that going. So uh, It's time intensive, you know, to sit down and write these articles and put the stories together and mm -hmm. so it, that we, we stopped doing that. The other thing that I saw was we, we could measure, uh, you know, how many people those e-newsletters went out to. We could measure how many opened them, how many clicked through to another website. So we were looking at that, and we were getting about a 30% open rate on those, which from what I understand is pretty decent on, a, on an e-news. But they were also people that opted into the, to that email. It wasn't like we were spamming them. And 
on the website there was an icon on the on the uh, home page that says, you know, click here for your free startup kit. And what I was finding was most of the free startup kits were going out of state, which was telling me that there are probably other incubators just looking at what our free startup kit is or other small business service providers. They weren't necessarily the audience that we were looking for. Of course, we would always send them out. We never, you know, really heard much after that. So we, we quit doing the free startup kit. Yeah, but. Well, going back to other incubators looking at your website and everything, do you borrow ideas for media relations or absolutely? From them? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I look at other uh, websites for other incubators. There are some that I think you know do a fabulous job, um, and yeah, I mean we we look at other websites and and use ideas that uh, that we find on their websites are, as well. So I think for any business, I mean, the website has become a wonderful tool f for in gathering market intelligence. And um, so, given that it's a nonprofit <coughs> organization and Kokomo is fairly small, um, what problems do you usually have getting publicity out there, getting people to realize what it is and that it's here? Well. I, again, I, I think the major problem just goes back to our own capacity in terms of staff and time to put press releases together, get stories together, and get them out there. Um, there is uh, one reporter at one of our uh, local newspapers who um, will contact us from time to time and, and do a story on one of our tenants. Um, they've also done a couple of other, uh, they ran a series of stories, uh, I guess that's been about a year and a half ago like three months in a row, each month they would do a story on Inventric, and that generated some interest, generated some leads um, during that period. Um, other times they've put press releases together and sent them to the newspaper, and they haven't really picked up on them. So that's discouraging. Um, and, you know, at that point you meet with the uh, editor and the publisher of the paper and, you know, try and convince them that, you know, this is something that they, you know, need to pay more attention. In fact, uh, some of the uh, concepts that we're studying in this uh, public relations course is the, I the idea of the four-step model process of, uh, of public relations, which is the, uh, um, begins with the re research, planning, communication, and evaluation. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering if maybe you could elaborate on how that applies in here at Inventrec. We did um, go through that, uh, a process very similar to that. Um, uh, it's, been, it's been a while back, but I pulled together a, um, we call it a marketing team, it's really more of a communications team uh, of some local people. Uh, one gentleman was a retired marketer from Delphi, another uh, gentleman has his own ad agency, another uh, woman that worked with us has her own market research firm and we we went through and really identified um, our target audiences and the key messages that we wanted to convey through our communications and um, uh, there, you know there was there was some planning and there was some strategy that went into that and then from that we were looking at um, what you know modalities we would select to get those communications out and this is where that matrix I talked about earlier came in we did have that matrix in place to evaluate that really we didn't follow through on that part very well but last question what about globalization Kokomo India is just a little kind of dawn on that that you could probably miss um, do you see globalization impacting your business in any way absolutely impacting how you reach people until uh, just a few months ago the largest employer in Howard County was owned by a German company um, we are very much a global economy here um, because of our manufacturing presence and um, you know that supply chain for those manufacturers a lot of that uh, the manufacturing piece of that is you know it's it's all over the place it's in Singapore it's in China it's in India um, and not just production even engineering um, is outsourcing all over the world as well so um, for our major employers in Kokomo, Indiana, we are very much about a global um, economy here, and what happens globally has great impact.